Thank you for joining us. My name is Carol and I'm your co-host along with my creative partner Lydia. We welcome you to our 10th day of We'll Get Through This series. Today we'll be focusing on the creative health dimension of the Holistic Health Wheel, which you can find linked at the bottom of the page. I began using my holistic health wheel years ago when I taught stress management to new police officers at the Iowa Law Enforcement Academy. They related to the idea of evaluating their stress in kind of a holistic level. And God knows police officers constantly deal with tremendous stress. Can I ask that we take just a moment right now just to send kudos to all the law enforcement people in the world. They're all working tirelessly to keep us safe, putting their own lives on the line. Thanks. Anyway, as I was saying, I've used six dimensions of the holistic health wheel for decades until a couple years ago. But gradually it occurred to me that it was missing one critical element, creativity. You see, I had begun rediscovering this passion for creativity when I found more time as an empty nester. I casually joined a Facebook group called Midwest Glampers this is a small tribe of camping women who decorate campers and then joyfully gallivant across the countryside together. While I've been a camper my entire life, and I have to confess I had a perfectly good camper sitting in my driveway, I got a wild hair, as my hubby likes to say, and with my own money, I purchased a mini camper that I dubbed Hetty Le Cub. She became my she shed of sorts, my playhouse. I created to my heart's content, decorating her to the hilt with whimsical fabrics and colorful knobs and funky wall hangings. I began gleefully gallivanting across the countryside with my new tribe, loving this new creative fun. But I still saw my creativity as a sort of non-essential silliness. Fun, but silly. Then four years ago, everything changed. As I'm quoting from an article I wrote for Magpie Magazine, I lost my beloved job of 20 years and I found myself lost in pain and anger and heartache. It was then that I realized the unbelievable power of creativity, not just as some frivolous child's play, but as a way to cope and understand life. I painted black holes of despair. I drew dragons of unresolved anger and broken hearts of sadness. I wrote and collaged endless pages of pain and hopeful inspiration. And through this great adventure, I experienced Creativity it was an awkward journey, a safe confidant, and eventually is a path to clarity. In a word, I healed. I share this with you now because our entire world is in turmoil. 
I believe with my whole heart we will get through this. But finding ways to express all that we feel is critical. And creative expression can help us explore, filter, and express what we're feeling on a deeper, deeper level than we could ever articulate. Lydia's healthy tip is to go on what she calls a sunset chase and post a picture of it. This is such a fun activity to do with kids and a contemplative activity to do alone. The more you drive around, Lydia says, the prettier it gets until suddenly the sunset is gone. She said the prettier it gets the more thankful and awe-filled she becomes. Take lots of photos, she suggested, and then pick your favorites. This is much easier if you find a gravel road that's not well-traveled. Uh, Lydia, that is, if they live near gravel roads. Anyway, if you're feeling really creative, paint what you see in the picture. Be creative here. Anything goes. Everybody's sunset experience will be very different. And you'll see the shots that Lydia took. My healthy tip for today begins with exploration. A few hours ago, I posted a request for artwork from my Midwest Glamper tribe and a few other artists. I was inundated with responses. Find inspiration in the many amazing submissions you'll see. Then take some time in the next few days to explore either your own creativity or begin by exploring what others are doing. I also want to recommend two authors as well. Julia Cameron wrote the book, The Artist's Way. I'll put a link to one of her talks below. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, he's so famous. He actually has a video online, how to pronounce his name. Anyway, Mihai wrote a book called Creativity, Flow, and the Psychology of Discovery and Invention. It's an incredible book. And I've also linked his TED Talk below. What creativity we see, not just in others, but also ourselves. Thanks for joining me today to talk about creative health. Tomorrow, we'll be focusing on financial health. And Jeff will be back to share a few tips as well. Bye-bye. you get through this. You'll break new.